it seems that OpenAI might have to do a bit more safety training of their promised upcoming open source model because Alibaba has just dropped this updated version of Quen3's 235 billion parameter mixture of experts language model. We covered this model in detail a couple of months back and now Alibaba has done some real innovations into this new update and that is what we are going to test out in this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. <clears throat> Before I show you the testing and few of the benchmarks, let's talk a bit more about this model. So this model features significant improvements across multiple domains including instruction following, logical reasoning, mathematics, coding and tool use with enhanced long context understanding capabilities up to 256k tokens and better alignment with user preferences for more helpful responses and higher quality text generation. The model is a 235 billion parameter sparse transformer with 22 billion activated parameters that uses a mixture of expert architecture with 128 total exports and 8 activated experts per forward pass and that is designed specifically for non-thinking mode without generating internal reasoning blocks. In simple words, what Alibaba is trying to do here, they are trying to overcome the limitations and pitfalls of reasoning while maintaining its root. So this is what I believe could be a real groundbreaking innovation for the future models. Now, before I show you the benchmark, let's start testing it out. The good thing is that Alibaba has already shared this Gwen chat where you can test out this model and I will drop the link in video's description. So let's get started. First up, I'm asking it, hey smile, you're on camera. I'm recording this for a YouTube video and you can see that on the top left, the model is already selected. There you go, see, there is no thinking at all. And it says that while I cannot actually appear on camera or be recorded since I'm and AI, I love that you're making a YouTube video. What it's about, let me know how can I help with you with the ideas and script. So let me talk with it. Well, it's about you. Tell me about your recent updates. There you go. Being the star of a YouTube video, you see, the model has, I think, a different personality this time. As compared to the previous one, it is more warm, it is more friendly, and of course, the language was already so great about Alibaba's Quen models, but I think this takes it to yet another level. And there you go, so there is water conversion, exactly, this is what I was talking about. The tone is more natural, more expressive, more human-like, shall I say, and seems more uh, friendly, nuanced, grounded, and I think societal, which is really good. And now it is talking about its uh, testing data, multilingual magic. Wow. It says it can speak over 100 languages. I'll ask it. You say you can speak over 100 languages. Can you say, I love you? Because in all those 100 plus languages now i'm sorry if it's taking a bit of time but i'm just trying to show you how to um play around with this model there you go so it's, you see um i think this is where it is doing bit uh, overdoing a bit but anyway um <clears throat> now it is saying that uh, i can understand and generate text in over 100 languages listing i love you in all of them won't quite fit here we are talking about 100 entries, so that is fine. So it is just giving me 25 lines. So it is not following my instruction that correctly. Um, but anyway, if I quickly check out the translation, it looks pretty good. And if you are that language speaker, please also confirm. So most of the languages look really good. And then it is talk still talking about video idea because it's a same chat. 
I will open a new chat just by clicking on this uh, pencil icon on the top left. But let's talk a bit more. I'll ask it. Can you translate it in? Uh, sorry. I'll just type it and then I'll show you. And I'm asking you to do a bit more translation in few other languages of the world. Some of them are regional. There you go. Yep, Urdu is fine. And Hindi also looks good. Please also confirm if you think other languages are good. Even it knows about this Pashto language, Sindhi, amazing. Scottish Gaelic, very nice. Okay, so that multilinguality looks really, really good. Okay, I have opened another chat. Let's uh, try to tease the model a bit. So I'm asking it what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you while taking a shower. Let's wait for it. Okay, so see, there you go. The model is, it is actually showing you the laughing emoji. And it is telling us that it doesn't have a physical body or personal experience which is pretty interesting. Now it is offering me to come up with a funny fictional one, but anyway, that's fine. Okay, let's ask it a literature question. So I'm asking it that in the book Frames of Mind, the theory of multiple intelligence by Howard Gardner, writer mentions every person has some kind of intelligence. How do I determine which type of intelligence I have? There you go. So I'm just checking if it is uh, been trained on this sort of literature and it has um, got it right that there are these distinct type of intelligence <clears throat> out there. And then it is telling me how to determine very nice, reflect on your strength. And it has given us a process. So you can see that the model's responses are pretty good. It is also talking about important notes and all that stuff. And this is where I think uh, even this outshines Kimi, the model K2, which we saw earlier. It's a really, really good model, the Kimi one. But I think this even minor update is has just taken this Gwen 3's mixture of expert to a very next level. And now let's ask it a <clears throat> cultural question. So I'm asking it that durian the Southeast Asian fruit, infamous for its strong smell and polarizing taste, is a delicacy for some, but a turn-off for many. Your task is to come up with innovative ideas to make durian loved by everyone. Generate three potential solutions that could increase durian's appeal. There you go. So let's see if it can come up with new ideas, creative ideas, and then if it can do some sort of marketing of a product, which is... Uh, for some, it's not that marketable, but for some, there is a very, very strong bias. So let's see how it goes. And also focus on um, the way it has got this language very flowy and very coherent. You see, it is talking about durians, that it's bold aroma, custard-like texture, complex flavor profile. Fascinating canvas for innovation. Now this is the first one, scent stealth and encapsulation technology wow aroma control so you see it is targeting the things which make it make or break like scent so it has uh, come up with an idea that how to control that aroma actually you could build a business on top of it you see it is talking about some natural ingredients i'm not going to go into the scientific details but you can already tell that this model has taken it to the next level seriously and then so first was scent second um dividing factor is a flavor so it is trying to come up with an idea which could um, strike a balance or compromise so this is where it is talking about personalizing the durian blends via ai taste profiling how good is that and then it is talking about the fermented one the gourmet products very nice Mizu paste, blue cheese analog, and then you see with every product it has come up with detail and then appeals and impact. And then also a marketing angle, like forbidden fruit to fer fermented trayer. Look at, uh, this is a concept. Oh my God, this is so, so good. Real good stuff. And I'm not really 
trying to you know blow it up or hype it up seriously if you follow my channel you know that i really don't hype things up unnecessarily maybe sometimes i do when you know the views are less but i think that happens maybe uh, once in a two to three months but seriously honestly i think uh, this model is quite good okay in the next one i'm just going to ask it is it morally right to kill mosquitoes circling your bed at night when you're trying to sleep if not then why let's see what model says here because it is such an open-ended question and it is talking about whether it is morally right to kill mosquitoes at night depend on the ethical framework one uses to evaluate the action very nice exactly so this is what we were hoping for that instead of taking sides it is just going to tell us as is that there is no agreed upon answer there is some so and it is going to talk about different perspectives uh, like its predecessor like utilitarian perspective and then it is talk talking about biocentric wherein i s like you know a strict biocentrist might argue that killing any life form including mosquitoes is wrong and then it is talking about uh, different perspectives and then there is a final assessment that it is generally considered morally right or at least excusable excusable to kill mosquitoes at night especially one this this and this and look at this towards that it is also telling us that using preventive non-lethal methods is often seen as a most ethically preferred uh, option when possible so it is keeping everyone happy here okay now we will do some more fun stuff but let's try out um, a math question yes for some even math is fun but anyway i will leave it at there and i am going to ask it a question from a number theory now let's run this where i'm asking it to find me the gcd let's wait for it to come back there you go so it has come up with two methods so far and the final answer is correct very nice okay let's check out another math one what happens if I turn on the thinking because it's a no I think it's a non thinking uh, option too but if you enable the thinking it does the thinking and it also has given us a budget that it is going to remain in that budget so you can turn the thinking on and off but um, by default it goes with the non thinking one it seems and look at this thinking one wow this looks pretty cool there you go it has come up with the response I'm just going to wait for it to come back. There you go. And the answer is as usual. Correct. Okay. Let's try out a coding one. And what I'm going to do this time, instead of asking it to generate a code, I'm going to give it a huge SQL query and I'm going to ask it to optimize it. So if I just go up, you see, I have given it the SQL query, which has some nested queries which has some, uh, you know, with clause, some of the other blocks, some predicates, lot of other stuff. And there you go. So it has come up with the answer. Uh, it is still, I think, working. Hopefully it is going to work because sometime it just throttles. I think it has started throttling because I'm asking it too much. But I think we already have figured out the language, multilinguality, math and uh, coding proofs of this model which looks really cool and it already is, is talking about some of the key issues as you can see the first one and the second one okay throttling is uh, removed i believe thank you alibaba okay let's wait for it and it is giving me the optimized version yep i was expecting it to use window function and efficient aggregation and i think this uh, coding expert is also quite good and look at this i think this is the first model which has given me this in tabular format where it is showing me what improvements have been made and then what benefits have been uh, achieved and then some additional recommendation around indexing but of course you know uh, it varies by db and there are other considerations too okay beautiful really really good stuff amazing 
In the final coding test, I am asking it to create me a self-contained HTML file that generates an extremely, sorry, I'll just go up, extremely attractive and romantic wedding animation. The file should be completely standalone with no external dependencies and include the following elements. And then there are some core requirements. Then I'm also specifying some animation elements, advanced features, some technical specs. So let's see. It is generating once it finishes generating i will put it in the uh, browser and we will see what it has generated as is and it has generated the code and the code looks very very well formatted it's a long code by the way you see this is the whole code okay let me open it in the browser and i will show you so this is a html file and it has already come up with some names by itself and two hearts one love forever together there is a pink stuff happening and i will let it run and i have just clicked on the screen and you can see something is happening that could be improved of course it has increased the speed look at the hearts and stuff <clears throat> and of course we can add a lot of stuff there so not bad as a first attempt could be much much better there you go wow okay pretty interesting and finally let's test out a real world problem so i'm asking it whenever i wash my car in the driveway my gorgeous 29 year old neighbor a fitness instructor starts coincidentally jogging past my house in her sports shorts so short that it leaves nothing to imagination as she runs by, she gives me a playful nod and a flirtatious smile. Should I accidentally leave the hose on and need her help to turn it off? Let's see. I'm more interested in the emojis and the uh, responses of the model. And model is saying that it, it sounds like there's some playful energy happening between you and your neighbor. That can be fun and exciting. However, when it comes to navigating these kinds of situation, it Import, it's important to keep things respectful, consensual, and grounded in genuine connection. And then it is talking about, it is trying to understand that instead of setting up a fake mishap, instead of using one of those natural moments that when she jogs by next time, you could say with a smile. So it is giving me some opening lines. And then these things keep light and all that stuff. Just remember, confidence is attractive, but respect and authenticity are irresistible pretty fine answer there is no emoji and i'm disappointed anyway look uh, real real good model i would highly suggest you to also check out the previous uh, model and for that compare it to this one and you will then see what i mean when i say there is a lot of improvement even with this minor update in this model also, Camel AI is the sponsor of, sponsors of this video, which is a community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.